How are you, handsome? Hey, sister, how are you? Good, it's so lovely to finally meet you. I know, I gotta tell you, I'm so excited to finally chat with you, but I'm so bummed that we're doing it over Zoom. Like, we gotta meet in person one of these. No. Are you gonna be at the Gavians this year? Absolutely. <laughs> you know, last year I skipped the red carpet because I was like, oh, I don't want to do this. And then I saw that you were there. Girl, and that was the place to be, I would argue, all weekends. <laughs> <laughs> Just know you will be the only reason I'm at that red carpet. <laughs> You're obviously known yeah. as a very iconic twink. Staying a twink forever is so hard to do. How are you staying a perfect twink all the time? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, genetics, mainly. Um, lots of shaving. Um, I'm finally starting to get like my chest hair in, so that's very daunting for me. <laughs> um, that's terrifying. But I did just start getting my butt lasered. I just, I had to reschedule session three, actually. Um, so that's nice. I think a lot of laser hair removal and some laser resurfacing might do it for me. Yeah. But I don't know, we probably only have a few more years left and then I'm like off to something else. I think I'll do a few years of kink. Mm. Give the people what they want. Very so. that. I was gonna say, do you think you would rebrand and become like a muscle queen? <laughs> I don't think a muscle queen. I don't think I would just wanna put that much effort into the year. <laughs> I'm a little too lazy for that. Um, but a little plunk, maybe, you know, just a little chest definition, a little more thigh, mm -hmm. you know, maybe some ass, but I don't think the genetics is going to give me that, unfortunately. Yeah. So, yeah. One of those things, either ha you're born with it or you're not. <laughs> and I am not. It pays the bills, though. So, I mean, it's all that counts, right? It got you a house. So, hello. <laughs> exactly. You know, you can't complain. <laughs> I'm like, if I did have an ass, what would I have? Because I would be unstoppable. This is something funny we should touch on. Um, so like a lot of people in the industry are still very like self-conscious about their bodies. Um, like myself included, just because like I know there's things, everybody has things about themselves they don't like. Uh, but the wild thing is, is like, I can take a picture of myself where I think I look the absolute worst. And if I post that on Twitter, people love it. So I'm like, and people are getting off to it. So I'm like, you know, if no matter what I look like, somebody's gonna get off to it, and that's all I need. That's all I need to know, <laughs> know that I'm pretty. I think there's a lot of little twinks out there who have seen your vids and they're like, if he can do this, why can't I do it? If you had advice for somebody out there who wanted to enter the adult entertainment industry, like what words of wisdom would you want to share with them? Do a lot of research on the studio you're gonna work for. Make sure they're not gonna be shady know how much you're gonna get paid. I would have taken any less than like 1,200, 1,500 a scene now. Um, but I do understand like smaller studios can't always pay that, but maybe use that smaller studio as a step to get to a bigger studio, to get that 1,500. Just know your worth. I feel like studios just aren't as relevant anymore. I mean, we're seeing a lot of homemade materials seem to like dominate the scene more. Like, would you agree? A hundred percent. With what the girls are getting paid, they're gonna have to start kinda figuring out another way or people aren't gonna wanna do studio work anymore. Obviously, I'm such a fan. I am so excited for all these things that have come your way. So thank you for even carving out a few minutes to chat with me because I know you're busy, girl. Well, thank you. I admire you just the same. So I see all your TikToks. <laughs> Likewise, <laughs> when I stumbled on your TikTok and I saw follow back, I said, not the Joey Mills already following me on TikTok. Like now we're really besties. <laughs> I beat you to the punch.